up it is 1.28, I'm downstairs. I just snagged, I think, the last water bottle. But I have my name on it so no one steals it. Um, oh, my goal is to attempt to eat something else of my simple cranberry. I'm going to put in my turvis that I'm in love with. <laughs> um, yeah, so Shelby should be here at 2 o'clock. I'm thinking I might just toast a bagel and put butter on it. Or maybe some of my fruit. I don't know. I need to eat something. Because, like, as soon as she's done, then good old Howard is going to be here. Um, Makeshift tripod. Not happening. Um, okay, so, um, and Howard's going to be here, and I really, like, want to eat something, and that's what I did last time, um, I did, like, a bagel and butter, and I was like, yeah, I know it's not the most healthiest thing in the world, but my mind is better than, like, not eating, um, and I've been having, like, this weird anxiety problem where... When I work out, I like go really fast, and <laughs> that's really normal. It's to the point where like my trainers like slow down. You don't need to move that fast. Like, no matter how fast or slow I go, the workout slots an hour. So it's like, don't think it's just gonna end quicker because I go faster, which wasn't my motive. But pretty clever though, right? So um, I just have like this nervous energy where I feel like if I don't do a certain exercises or exercise in general like at a faster pace I feel like I don't know like I, I need to like beat my own time if you will or like I'm gonna lose or like I just feel like I'm being chased by something like back in the primal days like the caveman I had a legitimate reason to run if a tiger was chasing them but my metaphorical mythological tiger that likes to chase me is really imaginary in my brain and not real. So in reality, I don't have to run for my life, but yet in the same breath, I feel like if I don't, something bad is going to happen. So I make sure to take my anti-anxiety medication prior to um, Shelby coming to kind of help combat that. I got a little bit better, but sometimes I like speed up and I'm like, she's like, slow down, I'm like, okay. So, um, yeah. And I'm not sure what's going on after good old Howard, but hopefully he won't be here for more than like an hour. Here's some fruit, I'm gonna eat some fruit. I should probably just toast a bagel anyway, and put some butter on it, and eat it with fruit. <laughs> um, so let's go get a ba I had a bagel last night, I'm gonna have one on Tuesday, but hopefully I have enough. Let's see what's going on over here. I have to take my allergy medicine, my nose is running, gotta clean my glasses, they're dirty. Um, that's the dealio. I only have like two bagels here. Ooh, I have all this steamed rice. Can I just eat steamed rice? Ooh, the cheddar cheese. Oh my god, it's so good, everyone. Here's more bagels in the back. Ugh, I'm finding bagels. What a day. Um, who knows how long those have been back there now, frozen there. Do I care? I don't think I care, do I? Something about rice is appealing to me. Maybe I'll do that later. Um, yeah, one time I was like, you know what, I don't feel like putting butter on my steamed rice. I'm going to put cheddar cheese. So when you take the rice out of the bag, um, it's piping, it's piping hot. And so then the steam just like ooh, melts the cheese. So, and it was so good. Oh my gosh. So the other night, ooh, um... I, you know, did that on, like, regular rice and on top of some corn. Um, because the steam, the bag of steamed rice, it comes with carrots, peas, and corn in it. So, whew. And my mom's like, you're putting cheese on rice? I'm like, you haven't done that. It's so good. Because I remember Dan, he used to get, like, frozen steamed bag 
I don't need four minutes. Oh my god, that takes forever. 40 seconds, people, for the frosting. Um, that's what I do when I'm tired. I put the microwave on for four minutes instead of 40 seconds. <laughs> um, and it was like cheesy rice and broccoli. And so I'm like, you know, it's a thing. It's yummy. Don't you ever lose these things? And it's like, it's either directly under the bread or bagel or whatever, or it's under the plate that you put aside to put the thing on. I do that all the time. I'm like, where did it go? Oh, there it is. Hmm. Um, 133. Like, honestly, I think one of the things, too, that would help with, like, my anxiety is, like, if I had better time management. Because then I would be, like, last minute, like, rushing to make a lunch and then rushing to get a bite in before I had to, like, go anywhere or, like, do anything. And I mean, seriously, like, I had all, I feel taller for some reason, <laughs> I've had all day, um, I got up a little before 11, I said 11, but it was technically a little bit beforehand if we're counting, and, um, and yeah, I could have gotten up at any time, but I'm dealing with, like, anxiety and, like, depression, so, like, my body does not want to move and cooperate, so, oh my gosh, <sighs> so yeah, that is a problem. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so I need to fix that. So I plop you down here and hope you don't fall, but you'll be slightly slanted. Okay. Sorry about that, but <laughs> I need two hands. Yeah, I got my bagel so I can toast it. These bagels, like they're not, you know, they're sort of pre-cut, and you just kind of find the line and just finish the job. These bagels are weird bagels. The way that they are cut, it's like as if I did it myself. Like, one is extremely thin, the other side is really thick. Ugh. So, two minutes for that. So, this is Delicious. So, here's my fruit. I got strawberries and blueberries. All it needs is raspberries and blackberries to make it complete. My berry salad. That's what I like to eat, people. And I like cherries, I like an apple, I like bananas. Oh my god, those bananas look god awful and I was hoping to utilize one. Ooh. This is a weird strawberry. Strawberries that go when they're in season. I don't think that they are, because like you'll find them in like a fruit salad but not on its own at least not in florida at this time of the year so they don't taste the greatest sometimes they can taste like cardboard things i've eaten in a buzzing um gotta find my cleanser dry cloth for my glasses it's 136 I don't know why, but I have to keep pointing out what time it is. Um, and I have to sit up the living room too. Because, funny, where Shelby sat last time, I keep like, I hide my weights and stuff like under this giant chair. And so she sat down, I'm like, you need to get up. I gotta get my stuff. So it helps when I start to move some things. And then some stuff, so two man drops, so I wait for her. But, oh. But, oh, sorry. Ooh, my hand. I do amaze myself. I just realized I need to get the butter out. <laughs> I amaze myself in that, like, 95 or more percentage of my times. That is a butter. <laughs> I do not want to work out at all. Like, Sorry. Like, I feel like death, and I'd rather do anything. That's weird. Like, these cabinets, they're not even. Like, if I put you here, the, I don't even know. I'm just going to put you here, and y'all deal with the cooker background. Because I don't have time to get annoyed about it. Um. Yeah, I feel like death, 
and I don't, the last thing I want to do is work out, but somehow, even if it's down to the wire, like, I get dressed, sometimes she'll be here waiting for me, and I have, like, upstairs tying my shoes, or I'm just, like, tying a shoe in the living room, and she's, like, knocking out the, knocking at the door, um, and I'm, like, just barely ready to go, but yet I somehow do it, and then afterwards, I just, like, Ugh. Pass out on, not, not literally. I'll like just flake out on the couch and like take a couple deep breaths, try to like chill out, um, catch my breath, and then maybe I get ice packs because I have problems. And then, um, then I just try to like drink and like be hydrated and. Ugh. Yeah, so anyway, but I'm better on the bagel. Just like not wanting to spread. Ugh, what the hell? I successfully took a sip of cranberry juice and ate a strawberry and took my anti anxiety medication now. Because, like, my allergies, here's the thing my nose runs. So, like, we'll be doing exercises. And it gets worse, especially when it's like push ups or something. Where I'm like on the floor, and then my head goes down and it makes my nose run all the more. And I'm like, hold on, I'll be right back. Gotta blow my nose. Which feels really awkward saying that. Like, I shouldn't be embarrassed, but like, I have to go blow my nose. <laughs> but it feels weird to me to be like, um, excuse me. I need to blow up my nose. Um. This one time I went for a walk outside and it was on the chilly side and so my nose was for sure running and I forgot to bring a tissue with me because one time I did, the one time I didn't think it would be a problem. And again, she was waiting for me because I was running late because I was having issues. Um, but then again, I'm not and so I just, we just went for a walk with, and I didn't bring a tissue and the whole time my nose was like running and I'm like snorting it back up with this gross. So it's just like, ooh. So, what I'm gonna. Oh my god. I'm going to go do what I need to do. The last little prep. 140. Haha. -ha. I'm gonna try to eat a little bit, clean my glasses, take my nasal spray and my Claritin. And then I guess I'll take the other stuff I was going to take um, maybe afterwards. But yeah. So, the key thing here is. Um, as much as I don't like doing these things, I know that in the long run, exercise is good for you, myself, anybody. And it's not just, like, there's more to exercise than, like, losing weight, because people think, like, oh, like, I don't need to lose weight, like, I'm skinny. Well, no, I'm not where I was, so I want to get to where I used to be. Um, but it's more than that, it's about, like, combating stress. Reducing that, all that stress and anxiety, and then building up endorphins, releasing those feel-good hormones. And that helps with depression. I mean, I've been told by my psychiatrist, if you, like, do, like, fast walk, like, fast-paced, brisk walk, and you do, like, I think a mile, it's either one mile or two miles, I forget, but, like, at a fast rate, if you do that, that will equal taking one antidepressant a day. So... Clearly, I'm not going to be out there treading it along when it's freezing cold. Um, and that's what I guess you use, like, treadmills and ellipticals for. But, um, anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm it. So, I'm going to, like I said, go. But I just wanted to say that I put, try my hardest to push, to push through because I know that in the end, I would be doing myself a disservice by being like, don't come today. So, and plus, the more you do that, the more people are like, she's unreliable, irresponsible, like, we don't want to work with you. That's like my fear in life, because I'm like a flight risk, like, you just never know. But then half the time, and majority of the time, I can't help it, and it's honest to God truth. It's how my brain was wired. So... <laughs> Like I said, I'll see y'all later. I'm going to go get ready, and then I'm going to work out, and then I'll probably see you maybe after Howard. So, later, later, I'll see ya. So, and I can tell y'all about my workout on Howard. Yay! See ya. I just want to say that filming is a really good, like, distraction for myself and for my anxiety because I get to focus on 
spending time with you guys and just venting my thoughts and my feelings and I just couldn't be more grateful um and I honestly hope that you guys enjoy watching my videos as much as I enjoy making them um so yeah just want to thank you guys for being here and like I said I'll see you guys later <laughs> I just worked out. It's 2.58. In case you're wondering. I'm really, really thirsty. <gasps> we did, um, yeah, I think like one or, no, two new things today, I think, maybe more. But one was per request. Because I asked, um, I said, um, Anything in addition to what you already do, do you have any tips or tricks to help me with my balance? So we did this balancing exercise <laughs> where I kind of like gently balance on the TV because we started at the fireplace, but it wasn't like the right height and I didn't want to injure myself, but then again, I don't want to injure my TV. So Howard, or it's my mom and I call him Healthy Howard, should be coming any minute now for my nutrition consultant and five bucks. I bet you he comes to the front door, which naturally is like sticks and it's hard to open. And my mom's kind of has it weatherproofed. So normally I just have to open the window and be like, can you go around to the side? So, um, we'll probably hang out in the kitchen and I'll get weighed. We'll do my body mass index. And then he'll tell me a bunch of things I can't eat and give me articles from Men's Health Magazine, because <laughs> that's what Howard does. Um, I try not to reserve judgment or whatever, but my Shelby was saying some people either love him or hate him, and he's a, a unique person, I'll say that much. So I think my mom should be home around that time. And then again, like I said, I don't know what's going down after that, but on Monday, my trainer, Shelby, She'll be coming at later, at 3.30 instead of 2.30, so. That does give me some more time, but then, like, then instead of ending at 3.30, it ends at, like, 4.30. So, I wrote that down so I won't forget. And then, um, yeah. So, just waiting on good old Howard to show up. I'm surprised she didn't say anything about my bag of M&Ms or, like, a little foil ball. I like so when I eat candy chocolates I should say take the foil and like make foil balls because I'm silly like that so what else can I tell you I don't know I don't feel that great like we were doing some workouts and I'm like why am I really nauseous I don't know I'm like I ate I shouldn't feel so like ugh. but there was at least for like a little bit um she was telling me about an incident with her last person she was working out with. So I had like a little a little break, I guess. I don't know what you call it. She had a, all right, let's get real here. Shelby had to use the bathroom. So while she was in there for like that split second, I kind of had this realization like, wow, this is gonna be great. Like I'm gonna get my life in order, yay. And right now I feel like, oh my God, shoot me now, um, but not really. So hopefully, I stay hydrated, I got water, I got cranberry juice, that that will be helpful, um, so we'll see, we'll see what happens, and, um, uh, my face needs an intervention, I just, I don't know, oh yeah, I should take that medication that I was going to take earlier, I should take it now, before I forget, but it has like this really gross taste, so it's like I need to chew gum or something afterwards. I'm just like, oh my god. Oh. So. <sighs> I need to like make an appointment for my eyebrows. Which I don't care when it happens. It just needs to happen ASAP. So I have to check with my mom's schedule to see when that is available. When she, or when she's available to take me to do that. Because until I can take myself, I rely on my mama. She busy lady. And then, I have Valentine's plans. Meeting up with some family 
on my dad's side that I don't see that often. And they invited Jason. So I, I'm like, hey, you want to hang out on Valentine's Day and like meet some people? Um, and he was like, yeah, but can we also hang out before the 14th? I'm like, I'd love to. Let me check my mom's schedule. So, and I think I just saw her, like, is that her car? Yay, my mommy's home. So, let's go say hi to mommy. Yay. I think mommy and Howard is here. Oh, my God, you got to see this. Okay. Hold <laughs> so, I've been there with Howard. And I'll be seeing you in three months. I'll put that in my calendar. Let's see. The what did he say? The 24th? At 3 o'clock. After the Shelby. Yeah, because it's Friday. Okay. There we have it, folks. Hello, people of the world. Mallory said to say hello. Hello. Excuse me. <laughs> so, Howard made me eat a piece of celery half by itself and half with peanut butter. <sighs> and I'll be seeing him in three months. And we went over my goals. And he handed me a worksheet, like handout thing with pertinent information on how to boost your metabolism. And uh, what else? <laughs> um, it was lovely. <laughs> so that's really it with Howard. Um. <laughs> I have a real, my own reality TV show and you can see everything that I had to go through. <sighs> um, so yeah, now I have to figure out what to do with myself. <laughs> but I'll see you guys later. Oh my god. Ew. <laughs> I just want to say thank you guys so much for being here. And if you want to stick around for some more fun, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And don't forget to check the description box for more fun stuff and thank you guys so much for being here and as always till next time keep it quirky <laughs>